Hey, this is Ben from Dev Farm again. Uh, today is Wednesday, August 26th, and uh, in this demo, I'm going to show you the uh, Power Scripter integration because it's really, really cool. Uh, so, without further ado, let me show you that. So, Power Scripter extends the VMware infrastructure client. I'm sure you're familiar with that. We have it installed here. Yeah, we actually have a version that's not out yet installed, but uh, in this version, that you'll soon have in your hands, you'll be able to run and edit scripts that uh, are uh, PowerWF workflows. So you can see I've got a couple of workflows already I'm kind of playing with, and uh, and we'll go ahead and edit one of those uh, here from the menu. Just so you can see that we do launch in context. So there's that particular workflow. That's pretty cool. But I'm going to show you the sort of end to end from brand new workflow. So we'll create a new one called VM Guest Disks. Capitalize nicely. And I'm going to take a Power CLI script that I got from Hugo Peters' blog. He's got great one liners. And hit insert script and have PowerWF interpret that Power CLI script as a workflow. And it does. Now, in previous uh, demos, I've just, you know, I stick a visualization at the end, and I stick a connect VI server at the beginning, and, and we go. But in this demo, uh, Power Script will be responsible for giving us our context, our, our, our connection uh, to the ESX server, and, uh, and even the virtual machine. So we can take out this, uh, this VM even, drop that activity, and instead take this where object and say that his input is uh, coming from the caller of the workflow. It's going to come from Power Scripter. So we'll just mark that VM as an input. We still need to have some sort of indication at the end that we've done something. So we're just going to throw this data into a uh, into a data grid for no particular reason. And now we'll go to deploy and Power Scripter. Deploy it as a virtual machine script. And it should build OK. And it did build complete. Now we can go back to our VI client, and we're going to go tell Power Scripter to refresh its context menu. We've got, a, we've got a brand new workflow to run now, and we'll right-click on one of these guys, and we will run our new VM guest disks workflow right here from inside a VI client. So it's launching that workflow now, and voila! Look at that. We have a data grid with disk information. Uh, gathered by that Power CLI script that was turned into a workflow. So just to show you that uh, there's nothing up my sleeve, let's pop back in here, kill that data grid view, and drop in something else. I don't know, a web browser, anything. Rebuild it. Well, redeploy it to Power Scripter. And we'll go back to our VI client and rerun VM guest disks. Again, it'll launch the workflow. And we should see, yep, a browser come up with that same data. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? We think so anyway. So you now, uh, you can now run your PowerWF created workflows um, from inside VI client, uh, thanks to Power Scripter and the uh, and that integration. So that's it. We think it's really cool. I'll do some more videos to uh, uh, get more uh, in depth in this feature, this integration. But uh, it just keeps getting better. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you at VMworld. Uh, definitely look us up and, uh, and let us know uh, what you think of what we're doing. So thanks a lot.